Crafty Bandits here, and welcome back to another episode on the Obsidian Order. So, in the last episode, we ended up working on the trading hall and a little temple building that, you know, goes above it for the entrance. And I think we're, you know, we're yeah, like 95% done with that build. So, you know, that'll be some of the things, you know, that, that I'll kind of be working on off camera and, you know, and stuff like that. And in the last episode, I also mentioned that I wanted to work outside. Now... Today, I don't necessarily want to work on, you know, like the terraforming and stuff. Because, like, we've got, you know, a little waterfall that I want to do over there. we got, you know, some issues and stuff over in that direction. Today, instead, I want to work on an animal. So, we're going to run around here just like this. Now, you might be wondering, it's like, okay, well, why don't, why don't you just use rockets and stuff to get around? Well, unfortunately, my connection hasn't been really great, um, especially since, you know, the whole lockdown happened. So it's like, uh, I don't, it's, okay, so we're, we're running, we're running everywhere. So, you know, I need to, I need to go and, you know, get like horses everywhere so I could just grab one and like gallop everywhere. Um, since, you know, rockets, rockets don't seem to be, you know, want to be my friend anymore. But yeah, so this right here, this is a little lake that we have in here. And this is, I think the deepest point that we have. And so I want to put the koi fish in this area here. And, you know, we are going to need to work over in that section because this is actually landlocked. There's no way to actually get to the ocean because there's a bar that runs right across there that, you know, blocks the access to the ocean. So at some point we will need to go over there and do some terraforming and stuff. But today I want to, I want to work on the koi because that will also give us a better idea of like what we can end up doing in this area. So, um... Ike ended up introducing me to a really cool mod called Lightmatica, and it allows you to create schematics on client side. So it doesn't have to be, it's not a, you know, it's not a server side, you know, kind of um, mod. And it helps out so much because I can go and I can design these in creative and be able to put it into, you know, into the actual world. So I am going to switch my versions because right now I am just in, you know, I'm in vanilla Minecraft. So I'll need to switch over to the one with the mod, and then I can kind of show you guys what I am going to be doing. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one of these. I seem to be missing one of my potions, but that is all right. Let's go ahead and drink one of those so we can actually breathe underwater. But yeah, so here it is. So right now, it kind of looks like a catfish. <laughs> but this is this is going to be our quarry fish. So this is the schematic for it. And then I'll bring you guys into my creative testing world once, you know, I get this in place. That way I can kind of show you guys what it looks like, you know, above ground. But yeah, so this kind of shows you like the red. The red means that, you know, hey, this is not, yeah, this is not what it's supposed to be. And then um, I'm not sure what the purple is. Um, yeah, I was right, you know, trying to dig up some gravel and I ended up with these purple blocks. So yeah, I'll probably have to ask, you know, ask Ike about that. Be like, uh, what, what's, what's purple? Um, I don't know what that is. But yeah, so this allows us to kind of see where things go. So if we come over here, I already placed a couple of the glass down. So as you can see, this is now clear. You know, we can't, you know, it's not, it's no longer red. And so that means that the proper block is actually in place. And so that is, you know, that helps out a lot. Um, the biggest problem is, is that, yeah, um, I can't tell what's orange and what's white. Um, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kind of wing it. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and come over here. I put all my blocks over here. But I can kind of show you guys how this ends up working. So let's go ahead and grab some of this uh, stuffs. Um, there. Okay. It's mostly white. So what I'll probably do is I'll go um, and place down white blocks until I get to the point where it's like, oh, hey, uh, that's not right. And then just kind of go from there. And so like this right here, so, you know, as, as we place it in, the red goes away. And so it works out really nice. And so this right here, this is going to actually be one of the, um, one of the fins for, you know, for the koi. And then, you know, and then we just kind of continue to build on this. Oh, and apparently I'm lagging a little bit. Some of the blocks are, you know, kind of, you know, going all willy nilly here. But yeah, so this is, you know, this is kind of what I am going to be doing. Um, I'm going to, you know, try to get this all into place because this is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to take a while to, you know, get all these blocks in place and stuff. So I will continue working on this. And then once I make some more progress, then I'll bring you guys back in. All right. So we are in my creative testing world right now. 
And I wanted to kind of show you guys the, the fish in, you know, in the testing world uh, before, you know, before actually showing you in place because you, we can get a little bit better of a picture of what the fish looks like um, outside of the water. But yeah, so this is, this is what, you know, what I ended up creating in here. Um, and then these, these were to kind of mark out where the schematic was going to end up being. But yeah, so this is, this is a koi fish. So let's go ahead and go take a look at it in the water. So here is the koi in its natural habitat. So I've got it all built. Um, it, it just, you know, I was, I was originally planning on doing like some, you know, cuts and bringing you guys in as I was building it. But honestly, the, the pink that was there, it was making it very difficult to actually see what was built. So I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to build it and we'll go from there type thing. So if we go ahead and come in here, I, of course I don't, do I have, nope, I have no water breathing. That's all right. Yeah, so it is just sitting in here. Now, if we come down here, I've just dug out where the, you know, where the fins and stuff end up going in. So definitely, and I'm, I'm realizing that it is very, very dark. Hold on. Let's, there we go. Um, but definitely need to actually like terraform around here so that, you know, these don't quite look like they were just made to, in order to fit the fins. So let's go ahead and come up here because I want to see if I can. Yeah, so far the connection is all right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get on top of the little mountain over here. And whoop, there we go. Um, because you, can, you, you can't really appreciate it unless you're higher up. So this is definitely going to be a feature for like people that are flying through. But yeah, see, look, there's the, you know, there's our little koi just kind of swimming there. And yeah, so what I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is adding in like, you know, more seagrass and stuff. So I'm thinking that it had kind of swum in here and was trying to get to, you know, a batch of like the seagrass and stuff. I mean, great. It doesn't really look like it really fits in here, but we're going to assume that it had kind of come into the, you know, to the area through the, you know, from the ocean because the, I mean, the ocean is just right, right over here. I mean, that's, that's the ocean. So Let's see, can I, yeah, you can just barely see, you know, like the bar that goes across and that's where, that's where, you know, it would end up actually coming through because we've got this little island here and then there's a little, you know, water feature over there and then the bar that separates the, the ocean from the, you know, interior water and stuff. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we've got all kinds of little, you know, little things for, you know, places where we can end up putting some, you know, you know, like aquatic creatures and, and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, so definitely going to have to think about something a bit smaller than the koi because we don't, we don't have too much. Yeah, most of these are very shallow. This is, you know, like a river. So you can kind of see where like river and lake ended up going. Let's see if we can get a little bit better perspective from up on top of this guy right here. Blech. There we go. But yeah, so I'm thinking that that bar right there, kind of shaving it off there and then bringing this, you know, kind of shaving it off there. And then we might want to kind of make the island a little bit smaller on the ends. And we'll definitely have to dig that out because, you know, the fish is, the fish is you know, pretty tall. And so definitely want to make sure that we have a space to where the koi could actually get out. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting trying to, you know, try to figure that all out so that, you know, it all, you know, kind of comes together. So next, um, let's see, next project. That is, that is what I want to show you guys. So what I am thinking for the next project is I want to continue working in this area here. Um, this valley right here, I want to dig out a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to put giant mushrooms in here. So it's like a little valley of mushrooms. But if you look in there, that just screams, hey, you need to build something in this. You know, so kind of, you know, kind of like maybe like the hermitage over at Spawn. 
But if we, if we come in here, it's got this little area here. So what I was thinking um, is that, you know, kind of would maybe make like little farms here. But this, you know, this area is, you know, is really cool because you've got all these little entrances and, and stuff like that that are in here. This is a really great feature, you know, in this area. And so I want to, I want to fully utilize that because like we've got this little entrance right here kind of really opens up and stuff up, uh, you know, up in this area. So maybe what we'll do is we'll add in like maybe some pillars and stuff to kind of support it just so that, you know, they could come up here. So maybe this is a, um, like an area where they can end up going and, you know, just looking out at the ocean and stuff. But yeah, the biggest thing though is going to be getting the, uh, you know, getting the mushrooms in place because I want to kind of see like where the mushrooms are going to be and how they are going to affect this entrance. But yeah, and then of course we need to get up there and yeah, light that up just a smidge cuz yeah, I kind of I kind of forgot to, you know, actually build that up. <laughs> or at least, you know, light it up, not necessarily build it up. But yeah, we got all get different kinds of, you know, little, you know, little alcoves and stuff around here. One of, you know, one of the other things, and I want your, I want your guys' opinion on this. This area is a little bit outside of, you know, I guess where my base area is. But especially with me putting the trebuchet up, you know, right there, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, maybe I'll, you know, kind of snag this little area of the desert. But if we come over here, let's see, uh, whoa, ow, okay, that hurt just a smidge. But there's this right here. And so what I'm thinking is that maybe in this area, granted, I'll have to come through here because there is, you know, there is some, you know, potential for falling sand, you know, like that area right there and over there. But, and then, you know, there's this cave right here. So, oh, wait a minute. There's cobblestone in there. Uh, oh, okay. Um... We got a spawner over here. Okay. I uh, definitely wasn't expecting that one. Um, okay, cool. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this plan then. Because with the spawner being in here, because what I was thinking was of, you know, building like a, um, like a scorpion or something over here. Though maybe, maybe we could build like the scorpion and maybe have like an entrance into, you know, like a farm or something. Because I've got, I've got the, I've got the farm for the skeletons. And then I think I have, I think I've lit up some area for like, um, for a spider spawner. Um, but yeah, we, uh, you know, I haven't built a zombie spawner over here. So we could, yeah, we could very well use that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that the, 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 this was over here. Oh my gosh, can't even speak because I'm rather surprised. Okay, so yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Do you think we should go ahead and build like a scorpion type thing in here? Kind of, you know, like crawling out of this, you know, ca crawling out of this hole. So like it's it's home is in here and it's, you know, coming out here. And it's like looking in this direction. You know, maybe it wants to, you know, like munch on some of the, the mushrooms or, you know, something something along those lines. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And then, you know, I also need to, I need to go and do a whole bunch of resource gathering and stuff like that so we can get started at least on the mushrooms. But yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and, you know, the Koi Project. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.